How to pick a CAD textbook for the Engineering Design, Modeling, and Graphics course. In this segment, I will discuss the text or reference books I recommend each student have as a resource for reading assignments and in preparation for quizzes, midterms, and the final exam. Each year for the past 32 years, I have reviewed newly published engineering design and graphics books. I have a small collection of these books that I have found to be acceptable for the teaching of engineering graphics. Over the next few minutes, I would like to tell you a little bit about each book so that you can decide which book to purchase. The first textbook is called Technical Drawing. It has a twin called Engineering Graphics. The Technical Drawing book is slanted more towards the draftsman, where the Engineering Graphics book is prepared more for the engineering student. The main author for either book is Gisiki, and both are published by Prentice Hall. The technical drawing book I'm holding in my hand happens to be the 12th edition, with the most recent edition being the 14th. If you purchased the 14th edition, it will cost you approximately 120 US dollars. Used and older editions would cost you as little as 20 US dollars. In my opinion, whether you buy the 14th edition or the 10th or 8th edition does not really matter. The language of engineering graphics or engineering design has not changed much in the past 40 years. Yes, certain standards have, and they've been updated. Over the course of this lecture, series, I will highlight and discuss these differences. Either of these Gisiki textbooks would be an excellent choice. Another textbook I have used is titled Technical Graphics and Communications. The main author is Bertolini, and the publisher is McGraw-Hill. I'm holding the third edition Online, you may find later editions that have been published. I know of and have reviewed the fourth edition. This book costs approximately $220. Yet, you can find a used edition for as low as 30 US. Again, whether you decide to purchase the fourth edition or the third or even the second, it does not really matter. I just recommend purchasing the book that fits within your budget and is the one that you will keep throughout your career. In 2014, I started using the textbook titled Visualization, Modeling, and Graphics for Engineering Design. The main author is Lou, and it is published by Delmar. While the other books I have just reviewed have been around for some time, this textbook was only recently published. Purchasing this book new will cost you around 160 US dollars. Used, it will cost you about 40. This textbook comes in a few different formats. You can get it as a hardbound version, or you can purchase it at a little less money as a softbound version. You can even purchase this text in a PDF format. This past semester, Many of my students purchased the Lou book as a PDF, loaded it onto their Surface Pros or iPads, 
and save themselves the hassle of lugging around a fairly heavy textbook. A word of caution. If you decide to purchase the Lou textbook, make sure that you do not get the introductory version that contains only the first six chapters. If you do, you will miss most of the important subjects covered in this lecture series. Any of these four textbooks would be a great choice for you to make. I've taught from all of them and find all of them fairly equal in their coverage of material. I find them easy for students to read and comprehend. They each contain chapters that deal with dimensioning, tolerancing, geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, which is a more accurate, standardized approach to dimensioning and tolerancing. Unfortunately, these four textbooks devote only 20 to 50 pages of their more than 1,000 pages to the subject of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, while approximately one-fourth of our lecture material will deal with this subject. Because geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is so lightly discussed, I would like to recommend one other book that I have used and found to be very valuable. The Geometrical Dimensioning and Tolerancing for Design, Manufacturing, and Inspection will cost you $75 new or approximately $35 used. This entire book deals with the American Y14.5 or International uh, 128 standard. I hope these recommendations for design and graphics textbook have been helpful. Your textbook choice is your decision. There are dozens of other good textbooks to choose from. If you decide to go with a different textbook, make sure you check the table of contents before purchasing to verify that it covers all of the necessary topics. You should realize that most online bookstores will allow you to see the full table of contents before ever putting the book into their shopping cart. If the book you are reviewing is missing an important chapter that we deal with in this course, I would move on and look for a different textbook. Here is the complete list of topics. Your textbook should have a chapter or two on the engineering graphics language and design process. It should have a chapter on freehand sketching. It should have a chapter or two on projections axiometric, oblique, and perspective projections. There should be a chapter on multi-view projection, a chapter on sectional views, a chapter on auxiliary views, a chapter on dimensioning, a chapter on tolerancing, a chapter on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, and a chapter on hardware. When we speak of hardware, we mean things like fasteners, threads, springs, cams, gears, and other hardware that is purchased, not manufactured by your company. There should be a chapter on working drawings, a chapter on how to calculate fits, both transitional and interference type fits. Good luck with selecting your textbook. Please get access to a textbook as soon as possible so we can start next time 
with a reading assignment. Remember, reading should be done in advance of the lecture so that the lecture can reinforce and clarify what you have read. This is Dr. J signing off from the studios of CADmodelinghub.com. Please go to our website and subscribe so you do not miss any updates or important information. Thank you.